Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers here. Today we're going to take a walk around the Short Track STW series wedge nose 7x16, 7,000 pound enclosed cargo trailer. This particular unit's got a few options on it. Primarily, you'll see the blackout trim package on the charcoal exterior. Let's take a walk around the trailer. We'll show you uh, all of the standard features as well as the options on this particular unit. So again, it is a seven by 16, just to be clear. The 16 foot measurement is to the square box corner. With the nose, you're gonna gain roughly another 16 inches, give or take. Let's so show you why we like Shore Track on this particular model. I'm gonna start out up front. It's got a two and five sixteenth inch ball coupler, pretty standard. Uh, you'll notice it does have an A-frame jack. However, instead of being up front, it's set back in a setback position. Idea behind that is a few things. One would be it doesn't interfere with your truck tailgate would be one of the primary ones uh, also has the sand foot on the bottom of the jack and you'll notice the end of the tube tongue is capped that would keep your salt and acid rain uh, out of the frame tubes a very strong frame just don't want to get uh, get those uh, items inside some do cap them some don't so again the jack is set back also you'll notice the integrated hooks for your safety chain kind of neat idea it's got the safety breakaway switch. Notice it is a fully sealed wire harness and it is a seven pin sealed molded harness. Notice the dual prong connections in the harness itself. Wiring on this is all grommeted, ran in frame. If you look a lot, we'll just staple uh, the harness on the inside going back. Uh, breakaway battery boxes on the inside of the A-frame. If you want to use weight distribution, you can still do that. A couple nice things you'll see that make this trailer look clean. One, of course, the blackout look gives it a nice appearance. You'll notice uh, the sail, the vents on this are, are blacked out. Uh, the the uh, V-nose, which normally be anodized. And then you've got the S-lock corners, as well as the trim, the fender, etc also uh aluminum wheels are standard on the short track stw models uh this also has the the blackout uh wheel package as well instead of the traditional aluminum uh polished aluminum wheels so again uh, also what makes it look a little cleaner if you look at the exterior this is an 030 screwless exterior uh for years short track used to do semi screwless and then they went to the full screwless uh so traditionally on a semi screwless you'd see a, a bead of screws every four foot panel on this one complete screwless they've also gone to the 3m tape instead of the uh the epoxy on these just uh gives it a little smoother finish at the seams so again fully screwless so 30 aluminum uh if you do see a uh, trail it looks a little rippled or whatnot generally a lot of manufacturers every 16 or 24 inches on center they would have screw pattern uh, a lot cleaner look on these Let's just take a look at some of the other things that are unique on these. If you look, the trim on this is a three inch trim. Industry standard would be a one inch, so it gives it a nice profile. You also notice it's on a, uh, you got your mitered corners where a lot of manufacturers will just do a butt cut at a, at a 90 uh, on these. Uh, it is a fully trimmed stone guard. Not every manufacturer does that. Short Track Pro Series model. Notice it does have the newer style bullet LED lights as well. Clean look. Also, you get a good look at one of the self tappers. These are uh, self tappers in the uh, trim itself. They're lags, not trim screws. Uh, just a lot heavier. Also, notice the pattern on these. Uh, there's two instead of one, uh, which you can do on the three inch trim itself. Notice the fenders on these are a teardrop as well. It's not a uh, it's not a straight fender. The teardrop profile gives you extra strength there. This does have the newer style Ford adjusting brakes. Uh, very similar to a car setup. The brakes will uh, self clearance with your with your uh, Ford adjuster. Also has the newer style Easy Lube hub hub. So behind the center cap there. You can take a flat bladed screwdriver, peel a little black cap off, and there's a greaser behind it. You can do your own bearing maintenance fairly simply. Also notice the green cap. It is a nitrogen filled tire. If you're not familiar with nitrogen, uh, it's very stable. Uh, but one thing with nitrogen, you don't have the humidity that you do and the moisture that you do in traditional air. Uh, they say it's to help the, the tire not dry rot 
from the inside as some would with traditional air. Of course, that's a slower process, but again, is a nitrogen-filled tire. 205-75R15, load range C, six-ply radial tire is standard equipment. Actually, while we're down here, I'll show you one more thing. Uh, there is no equalizer between uh, the center there. That's because this is a torsion axle. It's a pretty sizable upgrade. Uh, not many manufacturers do torsion standard. Generally, you're going to find, depending on the weight rating, it's normally going to be a four or $500 upgrade. It is standard uh, on the Shore Trek uh, series trailers. Let's stick your head underneath the trailer here, show you a couple more uh, details. Uh, a lot of manufacturers do not do a header. This is actually a header, and it's made from a uh, tube. Many in the industry, if they do even have a header, which most don't on a seven wide, would be out of the form steel you see there. There is a big difference. Also, you notice the gusset that ties together uh, the tongue. And underneath there, you'll see there's a junction box. Uh, I don't see many manufacturers that run a junction box for all their wiring. So again, neat setup the way they do it. You'll notice again, it is torsion uh, axle running across. Torsion's very durable. It also carries a longer warranty. Um, normally you'll find torsion axles uh, get about a 10 year warranty where springs are normally gonna be five years. Looking at the back, this is a ramp door, uh, new for 2021. Short check does backup lights standard. So this is not only a stop turn tail, but there's also a backup on that as well. Notice dual aluminum grab handles. Uh, typically you'd get one and normally it'd be plastic. Sometimes you get aluminum. This has dual aluminum, nice upgrade. Also standard equipment, this has your uh, safety latches. So instead of having your security latches, instead of having one piece go across here, it's actually got two that cover up. Um, your legs that would hold your door on. So again, makes it a little bit more secure uh, than typical. So 22 inch LED light bar is not standard. It is something we optioned on this. Uh, on this unit, we've kind of done a UTV package. So we've added some extra height, some D-rings inside, and then the light bar for loading as well. The bottom, we've got what I call full width hinges. Uh, some use a four, five inch hinge. These are about a 10 inch. They've also got grease zerts on them for some extra serviceability. Of course, you've got bumpers at the top. Normally on a seven wide, you're gonna see three. They throw an extra one on here, you get four of them. Another little detail, Short Track uses a uh, little bit nicer hardware. A uh, little bit a bit bigger hardware than what you would normally see. This is also a Z hinge on the ramp flap extension. Uh, a lot of them will use a traditional butterfly hinge that'll go top side on both. This actually Z's underneath to where a little bit more durable. You also notice on that ramp flap threshold transition there, uh, there's more tappers than normal. Uh, we see a lot of them that do about an eight, nine inch screw pattern. These here are on about a four inch. Uh, important for your commercial guys, anybody to landscaper or similar. Uh, a lot of times, depending on the screw pattern, they'll tear those off in the first year or two. So this does have a little bit nicer wall liner as you enter. You'll notice a little bit cleaner look. Uh, this is a, uh, a 3 8 I know it looks a little bit like Lewant. It's a little bit nicer than what you'd normally see. It's actually a, a 3 8 material. Also notice there's no Lewant trim strips. That's uh, something that Short Track's done away with probably about a year ago. They use the aluminum H mold. So literally your, your sheeting is uh, tucked behind the H mold. H mold gets screwed to the wall post. Uh, it's more durable. It's also uh, a lot cleaner. You'll notice the cove uh, running in mill finish around the ceiling uh, would have, hold any, uh, hide any wiring or similar behind there. Also make it easy if you ever want to add a dome light or similar, you can easily do so later. Speaking of dome lights, two are standard equipment, about one third from the rear and about one third from the front. Okay, you also notice above the dome light, there's a, a white uh, ceiling liner above the bows. It's actually a reflective insulation liner. So not only does this stay fairly cool because it's an aluminum one piece roof, which is cooler than the galvalumed roofs of years past, some still use, but uh, the ceiling liner also has reflective insulation that keeps it nice. Now, above that dome light, I want to show you uh, little details that Shore Track does. Uh, that's got 
a piece of flat above that bow. That would be where the seam would be. So instead of trying to put a seam on that wall post there that's about an inch wide, they take and put a flat that would keep that from ever coming down. Little detail, a lot of manufacturers don't do that. A lot don't do the ceiling liner in general. Uh, but the flat is something unique. I haven't seen other brands really do that at the seams. So kind of nice job. Uh, also, residential style wall switch at the side door instead of a traditional 12 volt switch. It's also uh, an RV style door. You can lock these from the outside or the inside. Uh, so you got your deadbolt uh, pair of keys. It's a solid filled door. It's not hollow. Some just do one by perimeter and then a piece of the one. It's a little bit nicer here. Uh, heavy duty D-rings. These aren't a rope ring. It's a 5,000 pound car hauler style D-ring on these. Uh, that is an option. This one's set up again for something like a UTV. Uh, plus six inch height. These are standard at 6'6". Six, six. I've seen six foot, six three, and six six a lot in the industry do. This is six six, and then this has a plus six inch height. Okay, other details on these. Uh, a lot of times you get a mill finish or similar rear. They actually also finish these out in plywood, so you got a little bit more protection in that rear corner as well. Uh, rear switch here would be for the outside loading light. Front one would be for your dome light. So this, again, 6'6 six, six inside height, 7 foot on this one, set up more for a UTV or golf cart or similar. Uh, wall studs and ceiling bows are both made from tube steel, not from hat post or Z-post. Floors are also a 16 on center. Walls are a 16 on center. So Short Track makes our heavy-duty unit. Certainly this is heavier duty than what an average guy would need for a UTV, uh, but certainly should last them quite a while being it's built on a decent frame. Very low load angle, especially with more height. Keep in mind, uh, the taller the trailer, the longer the length you're going to get in the ramp, which is going to give you a lower ramp angle, especially with the transition. Got your side flow through vents designed for cross ventilation. So you got one front driver side, one rear bottom passenger side. Uh, it'll help ventilate your gas fumes and whatnot. We did say it is an RV style side door. I believe that's a 32 inch door. It's got a metal handle, not a plastic handle. And then you also notice uh, it's got an aluminum door hold back, not a plastic door hold back on it as well. Did fail to mention at the beginning, I believe this is a six inch frame as well. This is why we said this is set up more for heavier duty users, contractors. Certainly makes a very nice trailer for a homeowner, but it's certainly built uh, plenty heavy duty for what a homeowner would ever need uh, with the six inch tube frame and then with the 16 center walls and floors and the tube studding. A trailer like this is going to weigh in about 2,350 pounds, give or take. It's going to give you a net legal payload of about 4,650 plus some tongue weight on this. Uh, brakes on both axles are standard equipment. Other available colors would include silver, white, black, charcoal, uh, optional colors, pewter. Uh, neon green, yellow, orange, uh, all kinds of different optional colors. If you have any questions on this or any of your other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.